Thank God. Like that too. Yeah, I had to yeah. fight some nigga in the bathroom. No homo. We he slipping on semen. <laughs> <laughs> we slipping on semen. You know the fucking vibes. That shit was wild. Was. Okay. Yo, welcome to another episode of Completely Responsible. Um, yo, we fired our assistant. I gotta stop speaking this shit into existence, actually. I gotta stop saying that shit. Cause why? why? Cause we kept saying we we're gonna fire a cat, and we yeah. fired. Cat. <laughs> but hey, they they are they're as quick. They're not officially part of the podcast at any means, so it's okay. Nah, Oscar's a part of it. He takes Is good he, photos. He, he's well. Last time Ray Moon knows not because he says nigga. He lets white people say nigga. That's so. wild. I don't know about that take. Yeah, so he can't be a part of the podcast, man. Black Twitter is gonna kill us later on in the future. Uh, if they don't kill us for that, they don't kill us for the faggot comment. I mean, yeah, I gotta stop saying that. Does shit. Black Twitter Twitter care about the word faggot? I mean, yes, yes, they yes. Do, yeah, they're yeah. very progressive. So I'm, I'm progressive. I'm with the vibes, you know. Right now. Yeah, but welcome to episode. I'm gonna start saying episode drippy, numbers drippy. now. Episode 11. I don't know why I like saying drippy drippy. Cause it's cool. It is cool. It Fucking is cool. um. Cool as fuck. Actually, yo, can we let's talk about that real quick? That video you just played. This nigga, it was ASAP Rocky. Rocky. This is his bir- birthday today, so people brought resurfaced it to the timeline. Yeah, he was with Ferg, and he was like, "Yo, I got a fight with some dude in the bathroom. It, it was crazy. It was slipping on semen, you know." Like, yo, it's just like, how do you get into? A f- first of all, <laughs> why is there mad nut on the floor? Like, like who's the nigga in the semen. who's who's the nigga in the bathroom? Was why y'all? He's like, yeah. Ooh, ooh, yo, grab him, grab him. Ah! You never did that? No. First of all, I'm never in the bathroom with mad niggas just naked. Well, well, how do you know he wasn't jerking oh, off Westbury, I by wanted, himself yeah. in the bathroom before? Huh? How do you know he wasn't jerking off before before they were in there? Oh, he just left on the floor like Godson? I mean, yeah, you're not going to clean, you know, mm-hmm. it's called the bathroom. You know? Yo, Godson used to really just jerk off in the bathroom and not on the floor. Like, <laughs> I mean, that nigga cleaned it up, but like. You got a roommate that never leaves the room, what are you going to do, all right? <laughs> nigga, just nut while he go to sleep. Like that's even worse. Just jerk off. I, I'm not nut on worse? the floor. I'm not nut on the bathroom floor. With the roommate in the room? I've had sex with my roommate in the room. I thought that's different though. Sex is like it's understandable. Like, okay, okay. Let me. I should know. Then yeah. Yo, my roommate's been sleep. <laughs> my when I was in a relationship, she was next to me, and I then jerked off to go to sleep. Like and she was nice to you. Yeah, I was just like, yo, I gotta get this out. Like, I, she, I, how how she feel about that? She was asleep. Oh, okay. I mean, if she hears, she I, she I highly like, doubt she listens to this podcast. Oh, no, I'm smooth with it. You got to do, like, tiny strokes so it takes extra come, long. I can't come like that, man. I need thorough strokes. <laughs> no, those are the I best. Need, I need thorough strokes. Bro, bro, those are the best nuts because you took so fucking long. Oh, so you're So edging? it just explodes. Ever edged? Yeah, by accident. You have never done it on purpose? No. That was, like, my whole, That's like, weird. young year. When I was, like, teen in high school and shit. You I just edged on like purpose? Case. Nah. I used to jerk off for hours, bro. I used to be a fucking maniac. I used to jerk off for like two hours straight. Yeah. Just going through like four different pornos. Don't come yet. Don't come yet. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't edge on purpose, but I would do it like if I was sexing a girl. Like I would jerk off to what she's saying, but you gotta wait for a response. She'd be like, "Yeah, like so." Ooh, I'm gonna take off your shirt, and I'm like, "And then what?" But I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the worst. You ever been sexting a girl? And then they take mad long to reply. <laughs> so you're sitting there with a hard dick like, bitch, you better reply. I'm a bit drunk right now. You bitch been eight minutes. This, you don't, you don't funny, realize. Funny. Like, uh, late bad texters don't bother me unless I'm drinking off the text. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, trying to keep it up, but you really can't. And, like, you just sitting there. you trying to make up. Now you're making up your own narrative to what she's about to say. And it's full. It's like, you get wild and nasty. And then she's like, oh. Like she's like at first she's like I'm gonna take off your shirt and, like, and then what and then she's like I'm gonna take it's off your pants. It's always funny because once you, you nut like mid convo and, oh, and then once done. you nut then she wants to be freaky and mm-hmm. you're like fuck man I don't got that I don't care anymore. Nah, you just fall asleep. You're like I done it I don't care anymore. Like, the good thing is that it's late night so you just be like yo my bad I knocked like you know like and it's probably you probably didn't knock from edging for 45 minutes from three text messages like. You're sitting there reading three messages, like, oh, we're going to get nasty. And you're like, yeah. And then you're like, what you going to do? Like, like, you just made your whole fantasy up. Like, she didn't even respond yet. Like, she's sitting there looking at the phone like, I don't know. Like, suck it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she, had, she had a lunch. She had dinner with her family. Yeah, like, like, you. you she had the dinner table. Bro. Like, this dude, son, this dude is fucking horny as shit. Let's get into sex and edit. Before we get into sex and edit, yeah, I got to tell you a story. I don't think I've ever told you this shit. Um... I got. I think I might be dead. I always tell people shit, but fucking. I remember yeah, right, before you start that. This episode is sponsored by White Claw. You already know we on the white boy shit. We on the hipster shit. Oh you already no, know. I'm not on We're the white boy shit. Trying to get canceled shit. for real. Hold on, let me bring back. I haven't done Garrett in mad long. Garrett, it's the fucking White Claw man. This episode is uh, sponsored to you by White Claw. It's for whites that like to say nigga. 
Um, <laughs> but we don't say it out loud. We say it in our head. Nigga this, nigga that. You see, there's, uh, everywhere. there's, there's actually waves on the on the thing. That's waves. from my 360 wave kit I just ordered. Yeah. My hair is usually straight, but you Trippy. know, with, with some good coconut oil and a comb, yeah. I could finesse my Bro, you're using shit. coconut oil? My shit is... I'm using shea bro, butter. Bro. Airy Lennox? My shit is spinning, bro. Sherry, shea butter, Airy Lennox? Don't make me take yeah. all my silky, bro. Okay. <laughs> I used to bond it. Shout out to my black Holy bitches. Shit. Oh, we can't say that. <laughs> you can story though. But fucking, I right, so like this is one time I got caught sexting. Um, this one I had a BlackBerry too. Hey, so. Caught by who? To my mother. By your mother? Yeah, like she yeah. just. I think I dropped my phone. Like I, we were at the beach, put my phone down. At the beach. Mm-hmm. You're sexting at the beach. No, 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 no. no. It's text message from the night before, but I didn't think to delete it because I never would in my mind throw my mom would check my phone. I mean, yeah, I never delete that. But um, I'm wilding like with this shit. Like I'm saying this nasty shit. But the one she brought up, my cousin told me he was like, "Yo." Well, your mom was like looking through your texts. Yeah. Why? It's my mom. She's overbearing. Really? Yeah. I have like a my mom. Me. We're just straight Native American. But like, I have like a Caribbean Asian mother. But she's wild amounts of nosy and wild amounts of strict. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. It's nothing my mom, my mom is the same, but she, she doesn't know how to use technology. So I oh, don't no, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. mom, for some reason, my mom understood how to use technology, and now she doesn't. Like, so she doesn't know how to use shit no, no more. Not like. Well, she got crazy. But, like, yeah. Well. So my cousin comes up. She's like, "Yo, um, they're going through your phone, and it seems like you're about to be in trouble." I need, I need to hear the conversation. So I don't remember the whole thing, but the important part <laughs> was I was talking to this girl. And I said, I'm going to slap you with my dick. <laughs> and my mom just pulls me to the side. And she's like, so you like slapping women with your dick? No. And I'm like, huh? Like, you trying to play it off like you didn't hear her? Like, she's like, all right, fuck it. I'm like, huh? And she's like, you heard me. I was like, I, I didn't really know what I was saying. Like, she just wanted to, like, and I was just doing it back. Luckily for me, she didn't see the dick picture. It was like oh, It was way up there Like way up shut there up, Yeah you would've scroll After you see I'm gonna slap so you dick Blackberry You gotta scroll The Blackberry yeah. That's a bitch Once you see I'm gonna smack you in, my face, um, in your face With my dick You kinda stop right there Like uh, How did that conversation Go with her Was she like Was she like upset was she, Oh like, she was pissed She was pissed Bro I used to get in trouble For dumb shit Like losing a hat She would be mad Like So she was livid Like I didn't have my phone for at least a week and a half before she realized I needed it. Like still, cause like I was walking home at the time. It was like I was thirteen. Damn. But um. That'd be weird. I don't know if my mom called me doing that. That'd be awkward. Mm. Yeah, I, don't know I wonder if my mom like my mom's never called me my jerking mom, off. Mom, I never like I never even brought a girl home to my mom. Have you? Um, have you the only like, girl my mom's home? met was Ryer. Right. That's why I was sick. Like I was dying. I remember I had strep throat like every fucking month. What's so that how that work? Um, Ryan was with me. My mom pulled up to like get me some shit, like just to like feel better. And I was like, "Oh yeah, this is my girlfriend." She's like, oh, "Okay." Like, okay. I mean, maybe because I was like dying, like at the time she, she didn't really give a fuck. She didn't give a fuck. I'm sure she did. It was more like she was more concerned with me being sick for the six month in a row. Did she ever talk to you about her after? Yeah, mad times, mad times, mad times. Right. You know, after we broke up? No, we never mentioned it. You never mentioned it after? No, it's nothing to talk about. It's weird. My mom's like. I mean, yeah, she knows college. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my mom's not one of those moms where it's like, oh, how such and such. Like, I hate that shit. I hate motherfuckers. My mom's do that. the worst. My mom wants to, especially with like girlfriend shit. She mm-hmm. wants to know so bad. Nah. She wants to be a grandma so bad. She. My like, sister's like that. Like she's the type. Like she would. Like she would. She would be pissed at me if I got real pregnant now. But she would be like. Oh no, my mom's she's just like, I'm gonna be a grandma. Like low key, like in the back of her head, she's like, oh, I'm so excited. Like I want to be a grandma. I'm so Bro, my mom's kicking me out off rip if I get a girl pregnant. Yeah, like, my mom would be pissed. It sucks. It's like my mom would be pissed, but she wants a she wants a like grandkid so bad. Yeah, yeah. She's I like, think. She's yeah, yeah. I think my mom would be mad so she sees the baby and then she'll be like, she will be like, all right, like yeah, you come back. Yeah, I got a, I got my, my mom, mom got empty nest syndrome, so she's like bored. Mm. And crazy, all oh, okay. Time. My so mom's she, tired of me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mom yeah my mom, my mother's had enough. Of my, and I, crazy thing is, I don't even be fucking home like that. Like, I leave my house at seven o'clock. I don't get back until like seven. In the weekends, I'm, I'm not here. I'm the youngest, and I moved out the crib in like. I think I haven't been back in the crib since like 2012. I've been out. Mm-hmm. So you, you went to judges, home. then I, you I went. Lived on, yeah, I was at school. Yeah. I like spent like a summer there too once, and then after that. I haven't been there again. That's crazy. Back. So, fucking um. This weight claw got me tipsy. Yeah. So you never got caught sexing. What was the nastiest thing you said during sexing? 
Just before we get off this real quick. Because I, I, I just exposed myself. I mean, what's nastier than sending you a picture of your dick? I don't know. No, you say some nasty shit. Like, ooh, I want to eat your ass with the doodoo in it. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I that sexy. Let me taste those gumdrops. Like, I had a girl say she wanted me to piss on her. Really? Yeah, I felt I mean, so I uncomfortable. Read these pisser girls. I felt so uncomfortable. I was like, nah, I'm. And she was a white chick. I was like, yo, it's not gonna go right. Like, you're not I gonna catch me lacking. Like, I just wanna piss on you. Nah, I never seen that shit. Yes, I do. I'm not pissing on fuck women. I'm not pissing on no bitch. I will never piss. No, that's disgusting. I, I feel like it should be nice. Would you let a girl pee on you? In the shower. No. Yeah, let her pee on me a little bit. Mm, what about shit on you? Do you want to let a girl take like a warm dump on you? Well, you try to make it sound sexy. Like, hey, 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 hey. Warm dump. Never took a warm hot one. Hot with a steamer, <laughs> a nice steaming log right on your fucking, <laughs> right on your fucking sternum. Yo, this niggas that pay for that shit. Like, this niggas that that pay yeah, for that shit. They just get shit in them. A lot of like, you know what's crazy? A lot of times there'll be niggas that are like, like in power, like CEO type niggas. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. They you wanna, wanna feel like a bitch. You wanna be humiliated because they're always like making niggas feel like bitches all day. If I know that, I would just like, I would oh, do that at work. I'm like, yo, shut up, I shit on you, nigga. Like, nah, you don't play that at work. <laughs> trying to get a raise. That's why your dominatrix make bread. Dominatrix don't mm. even fuck. They don't even fuck them. They just like, they you're stepping shit on, on them, testicles step all on day. Their dick, just piss on them, whatever. I think that's only a white people thing. I'm gonna be real, with you like. I've you never heard a nigga say like, yo, step on my seen, nuts. Ever seen the movie? There's something strange about the Johnsons. Oh yeah. You have seen that? Yeah. That I'm glad you have seen that because that's a very weird weird. That shit's crazy. For those <laughs> for, that's very random. For those of you that don't know, I don't know. It's a short film, it's like thirty minutes or something. It's about alright, I don't even know how to explain. Like, it's about a nigga that um, it's about the son that want to fuck his dad. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, so the opening scene of this fucking shit, we're gonna spoil it because this shit is like ten years old. Check it out. It's Wait, if about you if you don't know about it now, bro, it went viral Johnson. like a year ago. They should know about this shit by now. Like. Yeah, no, I mean, I went, I heard about this shit in high school. This shit was old. Dude. Oh was, like, wow, you a problem back then. My son Lance is wild in the room. Hey, you be all right. You can scratch around. Anyway, um, yeah, the opening scene of this shit is this kid. The dad walks in on his, on his son jerking off, and he's like, "Oh, my bad, son." And then he knocks back in again after he nuts or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and he gets muscles on that. He walks in. He's like, you know what you did was totally normal, kid. Like no big deal. Just don't, I don't want you to feel weird about sexual things. Just in, embrace. It. And then he walks out, and the son's like smiling. And then the son pulls out a picture of his dad. He was beating off that picture of his fucking dad. Imagine jerking off to your pops. You're like, yeah, reprimand me, dad. And then like, tell me I can't do this. And play then, basketball. And then it me. evolves. It evolves into the son grows up, and then the son starts sexually abusing his own dad. No, up, raping, raping father. That's <laughs> cool. Yeah. What it is? Straight rape. <laughs> yeah, it's straight fucking. Rape. He's blowing his yeeks out. Like. Yeah. Oh man, like how do you fuck your dad in the butt? That's crazy. I mean, <laughs> face, our, our intern face. I right can't now. even pan and zoom it. I don't have the control. <laughs> but it's like I don't even like yo. Thanksgiving is wild. Your dad can't. Your dad can never say shit to you. Cause all you're gonna say is a oh, word. But you took that dick though, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking wild, bro. Yo, everybody there gonna be saying like, holy oh, shit. What? But yeah, you ain't got nothing to say now, right? He yeah. wasn't saying a lot either when that dick was in your mouth. Like, he'll be like, son, I told you to put your phone away at the table. Oh, now I told you to put that you dick in there. You wasn't saying that when I was blowing your back out last night. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Imagine your mom just... <laughs> She's like, wait, what? Like, yeah, ma, my, my oh, dick was in his mouth, son. He wasn't oh, saying nah. He was saying a lot of nothing. Oh, you were... Wah, 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 wah. The director of that movie made actually mad horror movies recently. And they're actually fucking good. Like dick horror movies? Nah, they're just random. They're, that, they're nothing <laughs> in the story. They're good. Um, I, I thought that was his neat um, yeah, his he, niche he made like hereditary and midsummer check him out <laughs> yo we got so far away from this asap rocky conversation oh we're okay. so, far <laughs> <laughs> so so oh, far we've been moved up. You know, we're i think i just wanted to ask you like like what would you do if you was fighting and there was mad semen around oh, would you stop i would stop the fight like yo yo, yo bro, 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 bro. Bro. Like, imagine bro. niggas like no nah fuck that shit son no, no, <laughs> get on the semen nigga no, no, no. he was like yo i like that this you fire that you eat that shit he gives me traction, nigga. So what's up? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna start fuck. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep fucking you up until you lick that shit off the floor. Mm, I would kill myself. Mm. That's tragic. Imagine if fights ended in a nigga raping the other nigga. Oh god. I mean, there would be no fights. Though. Yo, yeah, it's over. There would be yeah, no people, fights. People would be very selective with their fights if they knew being raped was gonna be the. Yo, go to. 
go to fight move. You gotta um strip down. I don't know naked. why man on man rape is just acceptable. It's not acceptable, but it's less like. No, that's even worse. Like we could, it's less woke. Like it's it's not. It's less woke. I mean, we're not like, gonna get canceled talking about a dude getting raped. You know, we'll get canceled if we talk about women getting raped, which they should get raped. Yeah, no one knows yeah, you get raped. Yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. No one should get raped. That's, <laughs> how, that's how I felt last week. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I felt fucking terrible saying that shit. I was like, yo, this is who I am. <laughs> you ever say some shit and you're like, I really just fucking say Bro, I was, I was like, thinking about the whole episode last week. I was like, damn. Like, you, like, I forgot what you said even. I said, <laughs> nah, 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 I'm going to repeat it. It doesn't matter. People can backtrack. I said it like 15 minutes into the podcast. I was like, I feel like women just want to be raped. And I was like, yo, I don't mean it oh, like yeah, that. You did, <laughs> that. you did say that. Some person texted me. She's like, I get what you're saying. I was like, oh, thank God. Okay, guys. so, okay. Here, let's frame it better. Some women like aggressive men. That's the same like that. Some women like aggressive men. That's vague. That's vague enough. It's very vague, but not with the sentence I just gave you. Like, okay. Followed by the sentence I just gave you, it just sounds bad. It, it's got, it can't sound good. Let's just talk I about niggas. Okay, right? You can't put that. Let's just talk about niggas getting raped. Like, yeah, you know, men. I think men rape more men than they do women. Really? I think maybe we're wrong. we don't have. I like think a, men get raped more than women, but by, but they get raped by other men. We don't have a statistic Mostly in jail. Either. Mostly oh, in jail. Jail, you get fucked. Yeah, that's a that's a pussy right there. You getting that mean butt? Pussy. Are you going gay in jail? No. By choice? But no. It's like a lot of people go gay in jail. <laughs> but by choice? I'm not going gay. By niggas choice. gonna dominate me. Like, what, if, what if it's your choice? You either got fucking. Oh, like niggas ask me in a meeting? Like, yo, like. <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, we trying to fuck you. Like, like yo, are you with this shit? Yo, you gotta either. You gotta give dick or you gotta take it. So, you gotta choose which one you wanna be. And like, fuck it, I'll take it. I'll give it. <sighs> I think I'm about to sound what, wild. What if, it's like, what if it's like. I don't think. What if it's like a very feminine man? No, it's so gay. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to talk you into saying. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to figure out which one's more gay, giving the dick or taking the dick. Giving it, obviously, giving is less gay. Nah, because if you sometimes if you take it and you just gave up, it's like nigga, you, the, you subdued to the dick. Yeah, but if you're the top, you're, you're the the dominant one. It's more masculine, I guess. Mm-hmm. That's what people consider it. You gotta, you gotta ask like dick, You get a dick in your butt, you gay as fuck. That's that's like next level gay. You taking a dick in your butt. It depends though. It can go either way because if you relax, like your butt or in your mouth, that's next level. But if you no, but if you're getting raped, it's not gay because you got raped. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Like you like, ah, well, no. just like fucking rape victim, y'all. But if you yo, give up gay, son. You could that's it about yo, you mad gay nigga, you let me give you that shit. Like that'll be gr- <laughs> Holy shit. That'll be fucking grimy. I don't know, man. I think you're more gay, yeah. I think you you more yo, gay if you give the dick. You know what's you got hard for the it's dick. It's twenty nineteen. Why are niggas still getting raped in jail? Like don't we got like government why is it like, you know? Like why why can't we Because they need some level? pussy? I mean no, why they you know? You want you want in a like, consensual? Why isn't, there, why isn't there prison reform and shit? You know, for niggas should be getting raped in jail. Let's be real. They shouldn't, but they're horny. You ever been mad horny? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you never been mad. I'm, I'm trying to say like we need to change. We need, we need like systematic change of the system. So that's what you want systematic change on. Okay, it shouldn't be. Bro, they made prison just to, like offset slavery, yeah, and that's what you want. They made prison to offset slavery. Yeah, that's yeah. the whole purpose of prison. Like, essentially, it's free slavery. It's oh, yeah, free yeah, labor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm saying this in a more, like, less un, um, uneducated way. Uh, yeah, less educated way. That's a very weird way of putting it. But you get the point I'm making. The yeah, no, I'm making. We, like, we talk about private prisons. And yeah. Private prisons can't but that's what you want to change? Prison. Fucking rape culture in prison? People should be, you should be, yo, if you, if you steal a TV and you get put in jail for, like, three years... You that's fucked fucking, up. Being getting raped is a little extreme for if you're punished. But you can't control that. It's just what you want to do? Put yeah, a cock ring around that. them, like a no, cock lock. No, I mean, it's not hey, that. don't do this, buddy. You start flicking the dick, <laughs> flicking the dick. No, 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 no. <laughs> I said you got, you got to get the water bottle and start spraying the cock. Oh, yeah. or a taser. I don't know. If I don't know. That's just How do we change rape in prison? What do you do? You just put more women. No. No. <laughs> how, about you let them, how about you let them have like if you're in there for rape fuck. that's gonna be bad let them fuck let them um like conjugal visits conjugal visits let, let should be but not all but not all of them have a bitch though not they, all of them have a bitch pay, they can pay for pussy with what they can barely afford a glazed they donut have, with the commissary they can have money they can have money at home backed up they can have commissary not all of them do that's too I mean, no. if you don't then it is what it is fuck, and then you're gonna start raping niggas or, then you're gonna or, start raping or niggas or you can trade a couple couple fruit, fruit cups to fuck some Somehow, you know? Bro, that's not gonna work like that. I'm gonna trade you. I'm gonna trade you ten fruit cups. Bro, not every nigga don't have it in prison. Some niggas have nothing in prison. So you gonna just fuck a nigga because it's easier than trying to get some fruit cups. Like, 
Those transgender That's the reality, money. That's the streets. There's transgender niggas in prison. Those are still niggas. You fuck transgender. Those what are still. What if they're semi convincing? Are you gonna always. Oh, you close your eyes and get head and just like peek once in a while? This nigga's peeking. <laughs> don't peek, bro. Right. Just, you don't peek, you might as well just I watch. I think we need to change this topic. <laughs> Ah, I thought it was. Um, nah, dudes definitely get raped more than women, though, in prison. We need a. Oh, I mean, general, uh, we don't know what's going down in the prison. Um, pr- women prisons. I gotta pee. Did mm-hmm. we talk about that? We talked about that. Oh, the yeah, we was, podcast, right? was asking Kat if she would get raped by a woman. I hate to bring her up again, but yeah, she'd be alright. I hope she listens. I, I remember classic. I said. I don't know why I'm bringing this up. Vegan pussy? Yeah, someone like, oh, you vegan? You about to be pescatarian. <laughs> that shit was funny. <laughs> Bro, I think I might high key just take all those episodes and pay to get her voice muted. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you gotta do? You gotta take the robot, like, Google voice. And uh-huh. like, <laughs> so every time she talks, it's, hello. Oh, yeah. Cat. <laughs> yeah. I think that is funny. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Um, yo, know. there was really something I wanted to bring up. I, you know, I'm gonna bring it up anyway, even though I told you the story. So, this is gonna lead into two things, man. I was fucking, um, so walking during lunch. I like, I like to walk around during my lunch break, but today I was getting some B roll, and I just so happened to be B roll. It's film. Um, it's you never, you, you ever watch a movie and you see film of the city, like just with no people in oh, it, like not the main characters? That's B roll. It's just extra shit. Like, um, it's just busy. Like, it's busy film. Um, so I wanted to, like, test out the stabilizer and get some film, like, for tomorrow. And I was walking down ah, fucking Greenwich. Greenwich. No, I was not walking down Greenwich. It doesn't matter where I was fucking walking. I was walking down the fucking piers, and there's a bicycle lane and a walking lane for the regular niggas. Oh, okay. I was walking behind the special people in a single file line. And the woman looks at me like I'm part of the group. And I felt mad uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but she was like the supervisor? Yeah. <laughs> so like all of them are like they all of them got I, I was kinda jealous though, I'm not gonna lie, because they went to Marshall's. I was like, damn, like fuck y'all. I got I got the special discount. Um, I wanna go to <laughs> I wanna go to Marshall's. I wanna get this count. <laughs> I want this count like of course. <laughs> Can I get that underwear with I the whole? Oh, the Clyde cologne that sixty percent off. Oh shit! But fuck it, I'm walking behind them, and I'm, I'm admiring their Marshalls bags, and I notice she puts her head to the side and looks at me like I'm part of the group. So I'm like, was she bad? No. If she was, would you would you be like? What I? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot feel your nipple. No. Imagine, fucking. You say, wild, you say wild shit to her, but you pretend to be autistic, so it's cool. No. Oh, I hate your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Fuck it. She looks at me like I'm part of the group. So I feel mad, like insecure, which is wild <laughs> fucked up. But I'm like, I don't want her to know. <laughs> like, I can't tell her out loud that I'm not a part of the group. <laughs> so I'm just like mad, quiet, walking behind them in yo, a single file. Yo, for the record, for the record, yo, Ma, I'm not with them. Yo, I'm valid out I'm here. Like, <laughs> See, my shit is. They don't be drippy like this. Yeah. <laughs> bro, bro, this they is the fall know. collection. They don't know. This is the fall collection. You're not ready for this drip right now. The niggas don't know pastels like that. Okay? Come on, I got a stabilizer, mom. They can't even <laughs> they, hold this shit. Like, <laughs> Come on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what I do in the most subtle asshole way, I veer right into the bike lane and say, fuck all traffic. So they're away from bike me. Traffic. So she will know I'm no longer a part of the group and I'm just a regular pedestrian. And then t- until you get hit, <laughs> she's like, oh, this thing is retarded. This thing get back, yo. Yeah, then it's like, ah, oh, fuck. Um, yo, we might not make it to 50 minutes. I got to fucking pee. Like, <laughs> you take a piss break. I can freestyle. Oh, my God. Um, I'll keep going for a little I can, bit. I can get our guest, our intern into... Yeah, bro, I got to pee so seconds. bad. Go get, get out of the way. But, nah, let me finish the story. Let me finish the story real quick. Um... But yeah, I just felt like a piece of shit. I'm like, wow, like, I got, I really do generally have a soft spot for um special people and homeless people. I don't know why. I I hit the woke. I'll hit the woke special people speech while you while you. Okay. Too, so I got you. Like I always feel bad. Like you know, it, like it. I don't know. I just I just feel bad. But I felt like a piece of shit. Because I, was like, I Damn, said the word man. retarded a couple times. I just want like you know. I say retarded man times, bro. We need to let that word go. But I got to fucking pee. Y'all do y'all thing. So man, there's a spectrum, right? So we can't. I don't like using the word retarded, but I do it once in a while because, you know, niggas be in conversation, you know? So you gotta, you gotta let, let shit fly once in a while. But there's a spectrum, right? There's autistic people, 
There's there's people with Down syndrome, and you can't just say the word retarded because you're putting a blanket statement over all these people, and they all got different abilities, disabilities. So it's not cool, you know. You gotta respect these hoes. I'm not calling them hoes, but you know what I mean. Shit, the drippy drippy. I hear this nigga stream. The stream isn't good. I think he has like uh, prostate cancer. That's the word. Any topics you think we should talk about today? You can speak. You can speak. It's fine. I don't know. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's fine. Uh. Well, if you got nothing to say, just say, don't say anything. I, mean, <laughs> I don't even, I can't keep up with you guys. Alright, you can't keep up? I can't keep up. Any topics, you, because you're a listener of the podcast, right? Is there anything you've ever wanted us to talk about that we haven't brought up? Brought up? Oh, anything? Shit. Nah. Nervous. Okay, so better. I don't want to hear no big shit. You're trash. Never what happened? I was asking her, she's, she's a listener of the podcast, so uh-huh. I wanted to see if she had enough topics. Well, you that, listen? Yeah. Do you subscribe? Doesn't count. Listen. I think she physically mm. listens. She's literally in the other room listening. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> she's, not listening no, she's giving us no streams. You coming in like, yo, hold on just a fucking second, son. She got, she got a metal Campbell's can. That, she put that in the is door. funny. I'm not gonna lie, your high cap really liked that as a kid. Like that telephone shit as a kid. Oh, the camps? Yeah, that shit was so lit. Like, you don't remember those games as a kid? Bullshit, bro. It doesn't matter. It was fun. I think I tried to make one of them shit, and I'm like, yo, why am I putting my ear to a can right now? Did you now? have the string? Yeah. Did you have the right string, a thick one? Is there a right string? Yeah, you can't just can buy you, like a. You can't hear through a string. Yes, you can. Can you? Yes. Try it. You just I stupid. Think that was just bullshit science. They try to like. That shit was fun as fuck. Remember Seven Up? Cause I were doing it. I'm like, yo, you hear me, right? It's like, yeah, nah. <laughs> you remember Seven Up? Yeah, that was the game. Fucking yo, that's how you knew if your um your chick liked you. That was yeah. That mm-hmm. was how you flirted. I never got picked. Kindergarten. That's how you got pussy in kindergarten. I never got picked. Imagine. I was a fucking dub. I was just like put my hand down, hoping it'll get touched, and like yeah. the bitch would like graze by me. I'm like, oh, it's me, it's me. And no, you don't. Know, bitches I fucked in kindergarten You're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> You're disgusting. Imagine, bro, I give a, a, high, a high C. And, that should be rape. Right. I mean, if I'm a kid, it's not rape. Right. It should be. It's consensual. Nah. That's fucked up. It is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's just in kindergarten. I mean, I kissed a girl no, in kindergarten no, under not, the table. Like, we're not, we're not, I know you haven't had sex in kindergarten. We're not taking it down. This <laughs> you never kissed a girl in like, like, you know, like, 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 yeah, yeah, I would get into like one relationship. Fucking middle school. Like, I'm fat. I mean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this, this man said, <laughs> I mean, like, like, like you know, calls it as nah, I, was it. I was like triple chin, double chin. Really I fat. seen your um your middle school picture. Yeah, you see that. Yeah. was fast. Fast. Sorry. That was, those get, are the I old episodes. No, I didn't get no play. I didn't get no play back then. I did not know how to get pussy back then. In high school, that's when I started. You know, I started like. Do you, huh? you know how to get pussy in high school? Huh? You know how to get pussy in high school? You gotta, I don't know. You, I didn't know you how. You gotta take a girl to prom or some shit. I feel like that's the only chance. Like, on no, prom, I had to take Mr. Be- prom and be like, yo, please give me some pussy. I didn't I didn't get that experience in prom. I never went to prom either, but. Oh, really? I never really went out. Nah, I went, but my one of my bros I went got to the drunk. after parties and I sold weed. Did oh. I sold weed? I think I sold weed, yeah. That one you look like that type of nigga. Like, I didn't sell weed in high school, but it was one occasion in high school where I sold weed and I was prom. Nah. Did you have one of those uh, high schools where you were allowed to go out? Like, outside for lunch? No. Nah. I don't know. Uh, never mind. I was gonna say I like I skipped um, class once. They acted like I fucking like I I skated prison. This shit. Well, oh, they always act like that. I, um, They're like you were so irresponsible. We, we had the was, was fucking left last period. Man. We had the fucking lunches where like you can go outside like during your period. Yo, now I remember all the, the bitches that would get in, like these older niggas cars. And I'm like, yo, y'all are some nasty hoes. Well, the dudes you know are nasty. It was weird to me in high school where there was a there was always like the. Spanish niggas that dated younger women. There was the niggas, yeah. There was the college niggas that dated the high school girls. And I was yeah. like, yo, you're 23. You know what that guy. means? It means college is not like my guy, you're college is not hitting. You're fucking a 17 year old. Because like, college isn't hitting. That's pretty. That's you know, wild. why can't college has to be for you to be like, yo, I'm coming to come back to my high school. Like, yeah, yeah, that's wild. Yeah, yeah you get you get no play in college. And I remember what was creepy too is is when you're in high school and then like the sophomore niggas that be fucking the eighth graders. Yeah. I mean, what year are you? What, school, how old are you in sophomore? Sophomore year is your second year, right? You're like sixteen. Yeah, you can't do that. I'm you're thinking of your freshman year. Freshman year, you can get that off because it's ninth grade. I don't know. Freshman year is ninth grade. Think about it, because if you're in eleventh yeah, grade, it was even weirder for me because middle school eighth grade is like a different school. No, no, yeah, you're ours fucking, was too. You fucking girls in the younger school. Actually, no, ours wasn't. It was seventh, eighth, ninth. 
for middle school. I mean, ninth grade uh, was high school. Ninth but grade was in the middle school. What the fuck? Yeah, they had it in the middle school buildings, and then you would transition over to tenth grade uh, the and go to the high next school. To each other or something? Nah, it was uh, a block away. Oh, okay. So like we would go to practice yeah, at the high school, but we were still in the that's middle school. That's probably not building. as bad because at least y'all are next to each other. Yeah, that's not as bad. My You're school, not traveling. My schools they were like miles apart. So but would it be like, different like, if you fucking people that fucking die? Oh uh, nah. Would it would it be different if you was in tenth grade and she was in ninth grade? But like in, in my predicament, where it's a school where you're in ninth grade, I you're mean, still in middle school. Because like, yeah, I mean, right. you're technically because like it gets confusing because like you know when let's say you're a freshman in college. Because when you say bro, you're fucking in a middle schooler. It's like oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the next level. It's hard when you're a freshman in college and she's like a senior in high school. Because you don't say senior in high school and you say oh yeah she's in high school and niggas are like wait well, wait what. Like, it makes you sound wild, nasty. I don't think you can fuck with an 18-year-old now anymore. I don't know. Can you, do you, do you mess with an 18-year-old? If she's a celebrity. I mean, I would. I would, but I'd not prefer, prefer not. Celebrity. Like, celebrity, 18-year-old, is 23-year-old. There's always exceptions. I don't want to say yeah. never, but prefer. If you're in high school, if you're 18. First of all, I'm 24. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're 20, 20, 20, You're 24? Yeah, I'm 24. 25. You're, yeah. Hell no. Fucking, um. I just feel like you're immature, and you don't know how to fuck either, so I'm not into that. You, you know, I did want to ask you this question. Um, I was thinking about this earlier. If you're in a relationship, well, you don't do relationships. If you're in whatever you want to call whatever you're in, um, would you date a girl that doesn't know how to have sex? Like, would you stay with her? If the sex is oh. No, I'm sorry. No, I got to rephrase that. Like, if she was like, yo, I don't suck dick, I'm out. I mean, I I'm keeping a buck with you. I'm out the end, door. That's not end all be all, I guess. But it depends. Like if if I. I mean, if, if the sex is good though, I don't. I'm not gonna. I mean, if the nah, sex is good, I'm not gonna stop it. Nah, it depends. Like this one I mean, person. Head, head is nice, but if the sex yeah. is the sex is good. It's this one person, I thought, like, oh, when we were mad cool before she moved, I was like, yo, like, if we dated, so she doesn't do that shit, I was like, I would date you. Like, I wouldn't care. But most chicks, I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, man. Like, I'm trying to be a nasty nigga. Like, like I'm, <laughs> nasty. <laughs> I'm trying to eat some ass. Like, you don't give a head. What the fuck are we doing here? Like, would you, would you eat a girl? Imagine you ate a girl's ass and then she didn't give you a head. Oh. You don't get it first? What? Huh? You always get it first? <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's a lot of times I get head and I don't eat the pussy. Like, well, yeah, I, mean, I think I'm just really scared. Right. I think I've been scarred. You, you, you ate I have to know you. You ate bad pussy before? Yeah. It smells like Buffalo Wild Wings. I like bad. I don't know. I don't mind a bad pussy. Nah, I do. I do. I mind like <laughs> a lot. Like, I have to know you. And when I know you, I'll just be like, oh, like, like, you ever eat like, um, you ever eat pistachios? And it's like, I like pistachios. Then, but there's sometimes, once in a while, there's a fucked up pistachio. Like that burnt bitch. And yeah, but you don't notice, you just toss it in. Like, you're like, yo, this shit is sour than a motherfucker. You don't, you don't, <laughs> that's how, that's how you don't watch your food before you eat it, first of all? I mean, if you, if you got like, you ever had like the unpeeled pistachios? Oh. Those just fine. They have just the, oh. no shell or nothing. You just dog them. Oh, it nah. It takes the workout. It kind of takes the. It takes that's the, lit. It's lit, but it's like, damn, so it's nice to work for your pistachios. It's no. Cool. But anyway. That's mad garbage. <laughs> that's a wild anyway, amount of while, garbage. You pop like pistachio in mouth, like, oh, it's sour, sour as fuck. Mm. Like, that's how I feel sometimes when I go to a that's Chinese like, spot. That's how bad I get bad chicken. No. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> it tastes like that one bad peanut you have. Or even peanuts. You ever crack open peanuts and you're eating it, and one is like just. That nasty Black roast. Yeah, yeah, it's like mad and dark at the bottom, like it's someone like shit sour, on it. Like, what the fuck? I know what you're talking but about. But you don't that spit shit it out, disgusting. Like, you still eat that shit. Yeah, I mean, it's already in your mouth. It's exactly how you eat pussy. <laughs> but not pussy. Exactly <laughs> <how you're> pussy. <laughs> That's my same philosophy as eating pussy. It's like, fuck it, I'm eating it. You know, I have a rule of thumb. I mean, um, can't kill me, right? We need, we need, um, I'm, this, there's a reason why I'm about to say this. We need, like, a problematic button. Cause we need like a red light. Uh, yeah, or like a yo, your wilding button, like something that just. No, I'm just saying. Wait, just. Oh, you're about to let. Yeah, yes, yeah. Let it off. Yes, yes, yes. Let it off let but it I'm off. saying we need let something that when we say it, like it just go. Burr, burr, burr. Let, let it off, king. But fucking like my rule of thumb for pussy is if it smells like my butt, then it's a dub. It smells like I, you mean but, pussy. It smells like legitimately smell like ass, like shit. No, 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 no. no. See, that's a higher level of stink on your ass. You never scratch your butt and sniffed it? Yeah. Yeah, like, there's a certain like smell, like a sweaty butt. Some girls' pussies be smelling like that shit, and that's not okay. Like, your pussy... Yeah. Yeah, your pussy can't smell like pussy. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm gonna name the title Bussy. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But, nah, like, yo, sometimes... Sometimes like, you get a couple of licks, you're like, not today. <laughs> Just go back up. <laughs> One lick, nigga. Not like, today. Nah. That's what you gotta do, like, the distant smell test. There's three. There's two yeah, different smell tests. You know. Another time. That's so awkward. Like, what if she asks you, like, why'd you stop? Like, would you tell her? I'd be like, yeah, I'd be like, yo, it tastes, uh, doesn't taste, uh, 
tastes a little funny. I'll be terrified. Yo, would you be I, mad I if like know. a guy told you that? Um, no. Something I feel like girls like, yo, know. I, no, 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 but don't you know if you're like you're having an off pussy taste in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you feel it, right? No, you can tell. Your yeah, pH is off today. You know. You're not into it. Mm. You're not the way, like, damn. You know, you cause, like, cause girls get very insecure so, about that, right? Yeah, of course. Well, how would you want a guy to say that though? Like, what if he was like, yo, your shit smell like my butt? Like, yo, I would kill myself. Like, oh, shit. Relationship, that's straight up, and that's acceptable. No, that's yeah. fine. That's funny. That's that funny. Like, if it's a long-term yeah, relationship. Yeah, I'd laugh. Yeah. If it's something new, then, uh... That's awkward. That's, that's awkward. Yeah, it's really tough. Yeah, you gotta sit in the corner and talk to coach. <laughs> hey, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> wrong, man. Really, because if you tell me, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's like a girl saying, like, your cum tastes funny. Like a girl, yeah, what if a girl cried during sex? What would you do? Get up. Like she started tearing up like yo. I would be terrified. Hey, I'm not doing it there. It's consent. You guys are screaming that oh, shit just mad loud. It was consensual. I remember there's this college that released a video. It's like this is how consensual sex sex should go down. Mm-hmm. And these and it was these two there was I mean this couple and they're together. And then he's like he's like I was like, oh, I'm really enjoying my time with you. Can I put my hand on your leg? I feel like I've seen that. And she's like, yeah. And then he puts her hand on the leg. He's like, I really want to kiss you right now. Can I kiss you? Wasn't that a fucking joke? No, it was. They were dead ass. They're like, this is this is how like, huh. this is how you should be having sex. You should ask for every little thing. And it'll be kissing. It'll be kissing. He's like, can I put my hand on your hip right now? And she's like, no, not yet. Oh, you know where I saw <laughs> it? It was um crashing. They have a. I don't know what that is. It's on HBO. It's a um, comedians, and he was making a joke of that, but he did like yeah. There's no. Yeah. Like, I'm talking about dead serious. No, okay, video. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. know if I can still find it, but yeah, I got it. It was that. a dead serious video, and then, like every little thing, he's like, he's like, can I, can I take your pants down? And he's mm-hmm. like, yeah, can I take my pants off? She's like, yeah, like, every two seconds. I'm like, oh, this is okay. You got to get the condom where it's people, used for him. Like, I obviously consent is very important. That's where we got to use a consensual you could, condom. You could, you could. You could consent to sex without physically saying yes I want to have sex right this moment at 6.59pm bro we're changing the game we're not gonna do all that shit what we're gonna do we're gonna buy the consensual condoms <clears throat> the consensual condoms you have to use four hands to open the condom that's how you know she wants the dick four hands yeah so I nah you gotta press a button but you need four hands to press the button so that's how you know she wants the cock it should just be an app like yeah I'm fucking tonight <laughs> I mean, you could just do that, like you know, Adobe. App, app scan. Nah, you just type a, in, you gotta type in your 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 phone password. Bro, just make an Adobe contract and make her sign it. I'm just like, go, you sign yeah, that's this. Actually, like, app makes it more appealing. App two seconds, like I don't gotta read a contract. Yo, we fucking, we fucking scan. Boop. Bro, how much you read it? it? Just says we fucking. Just put we fucking we right. Fucking <laughs> we fucking right question mark. You ever see um? You ever see the um like the Instagram thoughts that they go to like Saudi Arabia to fuck and they'll like. They'll, uh, but the, the, the Saudi Arabian niggas don't play that shit, so they're like, I'm paying you to come out here and fuck me, so I need a video of you saying exactly what you're gonna do to me, like, and I'll, I'll show you a video of one, mm. this girl's like, this girl's like, oh, I'm coming to Saudi Arabia, and I will be, uh, fucking you, and I'll be wearing, I'll be dressed as a priestess, and I'm gonna okay. fuck, I'm gonna fuck your 16 year old brother, and I'm gonna suck his dick, and I, he's, I'm gonna, take a, I'm gonna take a shit on him, well, over there they got the laurels and shit. You are absolutely right. I'm gonna, um, pull up a video of it. But, yeah, I gotta check that but out. Isn't that shit crazy? That I mean, it's smart because like, yo, you have mad money, you could be fucking up a bag like that if they just, you know, they that say like, hey, yo, like he raped me, like. But what if the plot, plot twist, plot twist? What if when they get that video, they be wilding on them, and now they can't say anything like, oh, well, you made this video, but it's like you did more than what we said. But he's like, oh, you don't got no proof that you used this video. Oh, it's comp- uh, 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 conspiracy. Yeah, you always got to be careful with this stuff, man. Because you never know, like, how niggas really getting down. Ah, uh, man. If I find this video, it'll be, it'll be uh, You got to save this shit to your bookmarks. Like. Yeah, bro. My fault. I just thought of it off top. So. Yeah, 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 But these videos literally be the girl going, like, running through one by one. Like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to fuck you. I'm going to do that. I'm going to... I feel like we can't do that in the States. It would be too time-consuming, like, to get a girl to say that shit, like... All right, let's ask you again, man. Like, if I met you in the club and I was like, yo, can you, like, <laughs> like yo, do you mind saying, like, yo, fuck me on this phone? Like, would you do it? It's kind of weird. Ah, I'm kind of back away. Unless fuck. you're showing at least a few hundred questions, not say that on camera. What? Mind. Damn, now I want to know. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> There's money involved, it's different. Oh, ah, yeah, fuck but, it. I mean, it's all about the dollars. Like, yeah, but if it's just because. Like, 
Shit, if a girl asked me, I'm, you know, I say, yeah, I don't even, you don't even need consent at that point. You got the hundreds. Like, yo, fuck it. Where we go? Like, you want an alley? I was like, all right. Like, you know, whatever you want to do, man. We going to do it. Like, Damn. It's hard to ask for um legal consent. Oh, that sounds terrible. It's hard to ask for legal <laughs> consent. I mean, like, on a document, like, on a piece of paper, like, yo, like, sign this shit so I can blow your back out. So imagine you getting real hot, like you kissing by the door, like, mm, mm, mm. and you like, yo, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, let me get my folder. And you pull out a contract, yo, bro, just let it go. I'm about to, I'm about to let it go. I'm trying yeah. to so hard. Yeah, just let it go. Like, to get a contract, ugh, it's too much. I think I found it real nice, right? I don't want to just get it. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'm pulling up, we'll put me for irresponsible couple of the week or something. Yeah, we'll find it. <laughs> Fucking, um, let's talk about, let's talk about being adults, man. Let's talk about being adults. Um, I I clearly don't because I don't know how to buy fucking underwear. <laughs> <laughs> like I clearly don't know how to buy underwear, my nigga. Like, bro, I went to Marshalls. It was mad options, but I wanted the cheaper option. So it was. Do you, ever get, do you get the singles? Like they, sometimes they just have a single piece of underwear hanging. No, I get those once in a while, that's but I get the packs. Obviously, are ideal. Yeah, that's but stupid to buy a single pair of underwear. Sometimes they got the designer ones, so you're like, yo, I want the designer. No, I want the Tommy with the fucking with the dick bulbs built in. They got a pad. It comes with a fake penis mm-hmm. in it. Yeah, mine's got that. <laughs> <laughs> mine's got the bulbs. Got the bulbs. <laughs> yo, mine's <laughs> that's the fucking yo billion, billion dollar idea right here. This is an actual bulges? thing. Let's sell underwear with bulges built in, bro. That's not uh, a good pad- idea. Girl, girls buy bras. Girls buy bras with fucking padding in the tits. Yeah, but we, we don't care. What girls How do mad we, would you be if do, you saw a nigga with a bulge and he pulls it out and it's a two-incher? Exactly. Disappointing. Exactly. Okay, now, how mad would you be if you saw a girl with a push-up bra and you saw her with an eight-cup after? I'm still fucking, but Exactly. Who Are you still fucking the two-incher if yeah, you saw probably. a six-incher? You can't be a two-incher. Okay. Exactly. Okay, but you know how girls be watching dudes in gray sweats. Let's start selling gray sweats with padding on the dick. Like I said before, like it's it's lit at first until you have to pull down your pants and okay. bitches is clowning you. Okay, but you still you still fuck though. No, you might not. She might be laughing at she you. Imagine being a hard, solid two inches and she laughing at you. Now your shit go from two to one. That's why you gotta try to fuck her without letting her see a penis in the dark. You better turn off the lights. Mm-hmm. You know, like, yo, is it in? Yeah, you know, like eat her out first, and maybe like, yo, lights yeah, are out. Let me stick slide it, it in. in. Is it in yet? Yeah. <laughs> you start putting your fingers in to fracture your boots. So, yo, why is that your nail? You were talking about that before the fire. Hold on, let me talk about my underwear. Let me talk about my underwear. Let's get back to that. I was gonna, fingering next. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're fucking. Um. Yeah, I don't know how to buy underwear because I bought underwear with no dick hole in it. Like, so it's just like for anybody listening. Just imagine the back of your underwear as your front. Do people really use the dick hole in their underwear? Yes. I just pull my shit down. Like a six year old? You ever piss with your ass out? Oh, yeah, that shit feels like dumb nice. I've never done that shit. You ever done that when you're drunk? In a public urinal? Oh, no, at home. Oh, it's at home? No. Nah, yeah, I'll be going ass naked at home. Like, really? you know, fuck it. Like, oh, what do I got to lose at home? I'm home. Remember when kindergartners like, used to take their pants down and lift their shirt up to piss? Yeah. Like, yo, what are you doing? Because you can't get it on your shirt. <laughs> Yo, you had bad parents, yo, they were buying a no, larger shirt. I never did that shit, but the kids that did do that shit, I'm like, yo, Timmy, put your fucking No, 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 you know what that meant? That means his parents bought him shirts that he can grow into, so it went past his cock. Yeah, but he pulled his ass out. Like, yeah, but the shirt went past his like, cock. When you're taking a piss out of urinal, your ass shouldn't be out. Like, hey, man, you gotta do what you gotta do. You like the breeze on your balls. God, it's crazy, Daddy, <laughs> I'm doing it. Imagine being a grown man. <laughs> yo. <laughs> oh. I'll be out Chipotle just You go into a fucking Mets game You start pissing like that In the fucking crowded ass bathroom Yo what the fuck My Nigga, guy, nigga turns around like Yo this feels great right My guy you, you got grays in your beard You know what So fucking... Let me rock right. I'm a thot Give me lit Alright yeah, you thought. know what Give me lit You got it boss Alright terrible transition but a bad, Yo when I buy underwear I buy I just fucking This is my, this is my bad habit mm-hmm. If I have a ton of laundry I'll just And I don't want to feel like doing that I just buy new underwear like yo, I might have to clean underwear. Let me just buy some new underwear. That's good, but stupid. But then again, I wait until like a whole rips. It's lazy. Whole rips. Yeah. Do you throw your underwear? So I. You have to throw your underwear me, out. It took me a minute to throw my to realize I could throw my underwear out. You should, Where especially just, sometimes you might get pre coming in. This shit. You must just wash it. No. I'm lit. I take my years of pre cum. I don't. I don't, you know, know, I don't do my own laundry it. anymore. I just fucking go to the Chinese place and let them wash it for me. Oh no! They clean no, no. all the cum stains up. I feel bad. That's this. And when I see her, she gives me a look like, "Oh, it's you again." Yeah. You like, messy, messy. Oh, you. Yo, this time I couldn't get it out, but I did. You your pants again, ah. 
I mean, no. Maybe look at me because I'll be coming in shirts and like, why are you coming in a shirt? Oh, you're disgusting. Well, not on purpose, but. Uh huh. Long story. Yeah. All right. Um, finger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they know They got to know this, right? They got to know this when it comes to things. I wonder if they, they don't even use gloves to clean it. No, they just throw it in the wash, you dick. Throw it? Yeah, but yeah. You, there's a way. You secondhand cum on the No, you take the, <laughs> you take the bag and you put the bag in the washing machine and you just push it out. Like, you just, like, 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 like a straight He Man. Like, but, um,. Transition game is trash, but let's just talk about finger and pussy real quick. Yeah, you're talking about what are you talking? You're talking about finger and someone. You yes. someone recently? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. It was recent. It was not recently. It was senior year. Do you still um, girls? Yeah. What? You gotta warm. You gotta well, warm the engine. How old are you? Are you twelve? Are you fingering? It's like yeah. Just fingering? Like no? Oh, I'm not, like you're no. not fucking or anything. I'm just fingering you. No, that's weird. Would you, you, you do it to start it up? You know, like just to start up the start engine. Start up with fingering? Yeah. You is turn that, it isn't it up. awful to start with fingering? No. Like, that's the first, like, all right, damn, all right. You don't know to have sex. I, I don't. You just put your penis in. Fingering is just weird. It's like, yo, here, take the dick, take the dick, take the dick. Like, like especially, like, a one-night stand. Would you let a nigga, you don't know how, where this nigga's hands have been. You don't know where, <laughs> well, how dirty his hands But at that point, you don't know where his dick has been either. Or his mouth. Yeah, but your dick is usually, I mean, your dick, where's your dick have been in your underwear? Usually? Another pussy. Another pussy, maybe. But. An ass? Imagine sucking a dick that's been in an ass. She's like, yo, why does it taste tangy? Don't worry about it. It tastes like shit. You literally just... Uh, <laughs> your dick tastes like shit. Oh, it's the fall. It's the fall. Don't worry about it's it. The fall. <laughs> it's the season. My dick changes the taste of the season. I don't know. I just think I just think fingering is childish. I don't know. Fingering is important during... If you eat a pussy... I you think now you're lying. Fingering too is important. Fingering, if, if fingering is just, essential. Fingering by itself is just weird to me. I don't know. Fingering is essential to sex. What was that? Is it? Oh, you got a notification. Um, but fucking nah. I was talking about in college. I fingered this girl, and my fingernails were pretty dirty yes. because I had went to the calf. I washed my hands you after the calf. the calf. Probably some bullshit. Probably a burger. Slider. Yeah, slider. Slider. Yeah, fucking slider. You're in a slider, then you slid right in her pussy yeah. with those fingers. Give her a real quick ass, slider. Greasy ass old Westbury slider fingers. But fucking. I we was drinking for a minute and it's not like old West Bray's clean, so whatever I was touching, you gotta be dirty. My fingernails weren't dirty, but my actual palms and my finger were fingertips or whatever were dirty. And I fingered her and I'm just thinking like now I'm thinking about it in hindsight, like, yo, like my hands have been everywhere. They touched the door, they touched my key card, they touched your key card. <laughs> Nigga, ugh, your put your pH balance is Fucked up. You guys shared a bottle with like ten niggas that night. You got yep. to the back wash. Yeah, and you know some people don't wash their hands, so you got you got three niggas in your pussy, and you didn't even realize it. Like <laughs> you fucked the whole squad second hand. Man, you, you got gang banged, and like yeah. you didn't even know. Like that's crazy. But we gotta talk about fingering. I feel like fingering etiquette. is childish. It is not childish. Unless you're eating pussy while you're doing it, like, I feel like that's respect. No, it's not childish. You're eating pussy and fingering, that's respect. Fingering etiquette is key. The first step to fingering etiquette is you go with one finger. Yeah, you gotta start. You can't, yeah. you can't put a whole fist in. Unless you know her vibes and you can just walk. You ever chest it? How was the most? What's the most you ever gotten? In? Three. Three? Yeah. I put five, but I didn't get the knuckles in. This <laughs> nigga <laughs> so just try to put his whole knuckle. I tried. To, I tried to do the fist, and I was like, "Yo, the fist is gonna happen." That's Ooh. nasty. Put in five fingers. I give the five fingers of death. Shout to Sway. He's mm, <laughs> giving her bars. Five fingers of death. Give me five different beats, man. I'm ready. Mm-mm. Nah, nah. That kind of. Uh, I don't really care about your awkward sex moments that much. And I gotta pee again. Me too. Bro, can we just end this podcast? Bro, what are we at? Forty-eight. So we'll wrap up a little bit. Bro, I gotta pee so bad. You could. Take another piss break. Nah, cool. at that point we're gonna be at fifty. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, my computer, um, my watch about to die anyway. Anything um, else you wanna bring up? Uh, uh, watch collection lately? I don't know it matters. Nothing. Nigga, no like, matters. nigga look like Ben Ten. <laughs> um, we trippy drippy. <laughs> yeah, um, you know it'll be lit. Oh my god, I'm about to run off on a tangent. Ben 10, but different races. Instead of an- aliens, different races. He's turned, <laughs> turned, turned Chinese. Yeah, like, you know, you're going to turn into he's something turned, when it's convenient. You turn black, you start going to the hood. Start saying, what, well, nigga, mad time. You turn white and say, nigga, mad time. Imagine like, he goes to that concert, he just changes himself black just so he can sing the lyrics along. Yo, we need to make that happen. <laughs> yo, we need to make that happen. I'm sorry. Like, yo, anybody, yo, this is copyrighted. Don't steal our ideas, son. We're making, we're making white people for blacks and blacks for whites. Blacks for whites. Yeah. 
All right, yo, let's let's wrap this shit up, man. Cause I really gotta pee. Yeah. Podcast. If you have any ideas, let us know. If you have any good Facts. guests, if you have any good guests you want on the podcast, let us know as well. Um, drippy drippy. Facts. Make sure you like and subscribe. And yo, this has been another episode, Something man. Like Nick from.